I'm very self-critical in certain ways. And if there is an idea of a wrong way to do something, I will shy away from that wrong way of doing something for a very, very long time. And prime among those is the idea that exposition dumping is bad and that you should show instead of telling. These are like, these are the, the, the skeleton keys that people who want to talk about fiction can be like, ah, they told instead of showed or mm. like, ah, there's just a bunch of exposition there. That's not the right way to do it. Right. Like there's a, there's a, there's like a popular understanding of, of fiction and narrative and television and movies and books and all this other stuff that says if something does it this way, then it's wrong for doing it this way because it's not as artfully done as if it had been perfectly integrated into everything the, the way that it is. And so I find myself intimidated by that. I'm like, oh, well, if that's the wrong way to do things, then I'm going to shy away from doing lore dumps. And I am... Lore dumps are back on the menu, boys, because oh, yeah. like I think it's 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 in a game like this I feel like you need to be, and I think it's true that on television, when something does a lore dump, chances are it has a really good reason to do it. Like these are professionals making these shows for yeah. you, you audience. Like the like people are are making choices and figuring out like it's better to sacrifice artfully weaving everything together here and maybe missing the point. It's better to sacrifice that that artistry for the purpose of like hitting the audience over the head and saying, this is what's going on. This is the story. This is where we are. Um, totally. do you, do you get what I'm, what I mean? Yeah. Like, I think there's value, especially in games where you have four people sitting around a table. Some of them aren't paying attention. Some of them are eating Cheetos. Like people are <laughs> off doing all kinds of other stuff. Like, subtlety if you pursue subtlety at all times in a game like this in my experience you sometimes just lose what you're saying entirely like it just goes away totally so. no i i i was just thinking i've been re-watching you know several series um and like uh well, one of which is the witcher and as I was rewatching the first season, it does actually a very good job of like sort of artfully and thematically linking each episode. Mm -hmm. um, because The Witcher, it's like the gimmick in the first season of The Witcher is that it's like in three separate timelines. Right. But the narratives are happening in three separate timelines and are all thematically connected to each other and to tie into each other to make like a cohesive, thematically cohesive episode. It, exactly. And that's really nice when you know that. Um, right. And you're like, Oh, okay. This is different timelines. Also, uh, this is a good indicator why, like, it would have been nice to put time, just like a little timestamp. <laughs> like, just put a little timestamp on there, do a little uh, X Files, like, here we are in Arlington. For exactly. It's, 14th it's the of Gosrin, uh, <laughs> yeah. you know, whenever. Dew point 35. Exactly. Seven. Uh, why aren't shows putting dew point on the on Get the on, on it, TV, is what I'm saying. But uh, yeah, anyway, I, I was just struck, like, even in that sort of more complicated structure there's lore dumps there's like uh, a lot of it is just like characters telling each other because that's the only way the audience will ever uh understand those things if they don't say like you know redania is ambitious or whatever and yeah like, and, and don't like uh, uh have a scene about the two redanian guys being like oh yes let's do the plotting friend Nobody's yeah. gonna get that. <laughs> you gotta and, do it. And the the alternative is sometimes is just you take way more time to say stuff. And TV shows are mm. so slow today anyway. Like like people will out of one side of their mouth say like I'm tired of how slow TV shows are, and I'm like that's me. I'm tired of how slow TV shows are. TV shows are too slow these days. And then out of the other side of their mouth will be like ah oh, just a lot of exposition. It's like well which is it, dude? Like which one do you want? <laughs> right. Like what are we talking about? <laughs> do you want somebody to efficiently tell you what's going on so you can enjoy the story, or do you want to take 14 hours to like slowly learn the data in a way that like doesn't like you're a traffic like you're a, a, a traffic cop pointing your speed gun and you're like oh, this story better not be there better not be too much exposition at one time <laughs> otherwise i'm gonna like pull you over and i'm done like you, do you that was three uh, scenes you were looking at with a heavy yeah handed uh, a narrative declaration about the state of the world and your position within it 
<laughs> so anyway, I'm pro. I'm pro heavy handed. I mean, the things change. Like my attitudes about this stuff change all the time. This is all you're getting right now is a snapshot in time. But I am pro heavy exposition at this moment. Why? Because it tells the people that you're playing with what the story is. Yeah. <laughs> there is such a clear upside that um, that I think it's valuable to do. That's yeah. the end of my rant. <laughs>